And if you believe, if you believe that hybrid work is here to stay, then you have to believe that the suburbs are going to do really, really well in the coming years. Are you going to give us examples? Well, of course, I will. I will, right? This is, this is where you start writing stuff down. Okay, time for me to move on to trend number five. Those of you who attend our webinars know that we talk about how Americans are moving to Boise and Phoenix and Austin, you know, from New York and California. Now, while this is a well-documented trend and our other webinars go into detail on it, we are now beginning to think that when we talked about this, we actually buried the lead. Yes, Phoenix and Boise and Austin are, you know, have insane profit from all these people running away from California, but there's actually a simpler way to make money from people moving from dense cities. And that is suburbia. Our most recent research indicates that for every one person that moves from California to Phoenix or Boise, there are actually several people that moved, but they moved to much further suburbs in their own city. Because this trend hasn't gotten as much attention as the interstate moves, we think this one actually has more profit. COVID brainwashed 7 billion people. And if you believe, if you believe that hybrid work is here to stay, then you have to believe that the suburbs are going to do really, really well in the coming years. And we're already seeing it happen. Our tracking indicates that prices and rents in suburbs of major cities are going up much faster than the cities themselves, which are actually seeing declines in rents and only small increases in home prices. And interestingly, more, the more gritty, the more rough the neighborhood, the faster the gentrification. For instance, look at the top right on the screen. Look at Chicago, right? It lost a bunch of people to its northern richer suburbs. But where did prices write the most? Well, they actually rose in Oak Park, Bourbon, and also in Oak Lawn. These are all gritty, rough suburbs that are seeing rising prices, extreme gentrification, much higher rents. So don't be afraid to look at the rougher metros in your market because we think that's where the profit is. Okay, Neil, I get it. Far-flung, greedy suburbs, more attractive. Are you going to give us examples? Well, of course, I will. I will, right? This is, this is where you start writing stuff down. So if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area, your best options might be Oakley and Brentwood. Take also a look at Modesto. If you live in Southern California, you should be looking at Glendora, La Quinada, and Flintridge. Austinians should be looking at Killeen or New Brunsfels. And Phoenix lovers should be looking at the tiny town of Buckeye, which is 45 miles away. Portlanders should look at Dallas and Detroit. These are tiny cities 60 miles from Portland. Tennesseans should look at one of my personal favorites, Dalton, Georgia, which is about oh. 35 miles from Chattanooga. Now, these are all far-flung suburbs. With the exception of Dalton, they're not really beautiful, but they're ex inexpensive. They've got large homes. Millions of people who would have never even considered them are going to consider them as hybrid work takes hold. Profit.